Welcome back to Uprising. I'm Sonali Kohatkar. Forty years ago today, the day that Americans refer to as the fall of Saigon took place in Vietnam, marking the end of the U.S. war in Vietnam. Vietnamese refer to it as Reunification Day or Liberation Day. It was the day that the Viet Cong and other North Vietnamese forces took over the capital of South Vietnam, renaming it from Saigon to Ho Chi Minh City and kicking off a communist-led government. For American anti-war activists, April 30, 1975 marked the end of a spirited struggle against the U.S. government. The anti-war movement here politicized thousands of young Americans in particular and became a central part of the pantheon of progressive movements birthed during the 1960s and 70s. Among the activists was my guest Paul Cribio, longtime labor activist, anti-Vietnam War activist, author of Shades of Justice, a memoir. Welcome to Uprising, Paul. Thank you, Sonali. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, um, how, what was your life like before you were politicized by the anti-war movement in uh, the 60s? Can you paint a picture for our audience, um, you know, with the sense that uh, you might have been a sort of typical uh, American politicized by the war? Well, I, <clears throat> I was a typical American. Um, grew up in a family where my dad went to work and my mom stayed home and took care of myself and two younger brothers. Um, and we grew up at a time that, uh, you know, it was, we were still in the Cold War. Um, we were coming out of the McCarthy period. I grew up in the 1950s. I graduated from high school in 1966 and pretty much believed what the government told us. Um, so when it came to uh, increasing involvement in Vietnam, uh, the arguments that they made to the American people were that we needed to go in there and help save the Vietnamese people. We had to go in and help them uh, decide their own future, free from outside influence. And for, you know, most Americans who were raised in a rich tradition of democracy and believing in it, um, that seemed to make sense. Hmm. 